What's up guys? Welcome to Field Series Review. Today, we're going head to head between the Dakota jacket and the duck oven jacket. All right guys, so today we're gonna to tackle a topic that I see in a lot of the Sitka online pages, and that is what's the difference between the Dakota jacket or hoodie and the duck oven? So this is one of the situations like we talked about before, if I could get my hands on both objects, on both jackets and look at them, I would say, oh, there's an obvious difference. But because Sitka is mainly ordered online, a lot of guys have to rely on reviewers, online advice, and sometimes just a shot in the dark to figure out which jacket is best for them and what the differences are. <clears throat> so we're gonna look at the Duck Oven jacket and the Dakota jacket. Now these are both really, really good jackets. Um, these both have a place in your system. These. Um, are both definitely staples of the waterfowl line. So let's talk about a little bit of similarities between the two. First of all, they are both 100% uh, windproof. So that's one reason that they kind of, um, a lot of people kind of draw the comparison between them. I've got my duck oven here in marsh and I've got my Dakota here in timber. They're both only gonna come in marsh and timber and they're gonna come in your sizes. Um, small through 3x i think maybe the duck oven only comes in a medium and then as far as price range you're going to be as far as price range you're going to be 299 for the dakota hoodie and jacket and then 329 for the duck oven so if you look at the price difference you should tell right off the rip that because the duck oven is going to be a little bit more expensive you're going to have a few more features and it's going to uh, generally be a little bit warmer now what makes the duck oven a little bit warmer than the dakota <clears throat> the dakota is essentially a windproof fleece jacket that goes for the hoodie that goes for the jacket it's a windproof fleece jacket it's designed to be worn primarily as an outer piece it can be layered um, underneath something like a delta weighting jacket that's fine it does have a couple of areas where it does fall short, especially in the layering aspect. Um, it does not have in the arms, it does not have any thumb loops. So sometimes it'll ride up if you go to layer um, something over it. <clears throat> it has a draw cord at the bottom, it has two hand pockets, and then it has a pocket on the chest. But the interior is the Berber fleece, and then you have some additional uh, woven fleece down here at the bottom, but it is it is basically a gradient jacket that's windproof. That's where it's at. Now the Dakota vest is very different. It's got different features. It's a lot thinner, but the gradient jacket is just a basic jacket that's windproof. It does really, really well. It's got DWR technology on the outside, so it's going to keep the water repellency. Uh, so it keeps its water repellency. It's going to keep you dry to a certain extent. It's not Gore-Tex. It's not a Hudson. It's not a uh, Delta weighting jacket. It's not water proof it's just water resistant and it's windproof come over here to the duck oven the duck oven is very interesting because it kind of takes uh drake has the fleece bottom and then the you know nylon top um i forget what they call those but that's a similar idea of what you're going to get here you can get fleece from the torso down so you put it down in your bibs down to your waders and then everything from about your rib cage up and down the arms is going to be primal loft insulation you're going to get a lot of insulation on the torso think about 200 grams and then around 130 down the arms um, so that you're going to get the best of both worlds with the duck oven you're going to have your fleece down around your torso and where it's tucked in easier to tuck and then you're going to have your primal loft from the ribs up you are also going to have the ability even though this is have dwr and it is 100 percent windproof you are going to have some layering features now you guys that have the celsius midi jacket you're going to get the knuckle line covers with the thumb loop so now you slide your thumbs in covers your knuckle line you can slide it into a delta weighting jacket very easily trying to slide this underneath a, a hudson um, it's going to be a little bit tight uh, you're going to be a little bit bulky but sliding this under a delta weighting jacket is definitely um, a really really good system you're going to draw a cord at the bottom as well and then there is a feature on the duck oven that the dakota jacket really hood, hoodie or the dakota jacket really should have had and that is you're going to have waiter pockets it's a it's a big thing for i think all jackets should have them you're still going to have your, your two hand pockets that zip 
um, but up around your chest, you're going to have two waiter uh, pockets. So if you wear this guy inside your bibs, inside your waiters, you're going to be able to rest your hands um, nice and comfortably. All right, guys, so it's time to talk about real quick which one is right for you. Um, if you're going to be in cold, cold temps, I mean, he's consistently hunting into 20s and below, I'm going to go with the duck oven. If you've already got something like a Delta waiting jacket and you need a warm jacket to wear underneath it, I'm going to go with the duck oven. If you are in some of the southeasterly states where you predominantly hunt in the 30s, I mean, you, you can hunt in the 20s in the, in the um, Dakota jacket or hoodie. You want to put something like a Fahrenheit vest underneath it with a heavyweight hoodie. You want some Primaloft insulation on your vitals, but you can definitely get down to the low 30s with this jacket with no issues. It's windproof, it's very durable. It's definitely a great jacket. The jacket and the hoodie are both really good. So if your primary hunting conditions, in my opinion, are in the 30s, I would go with the uh, Dakota jacket and hoodie. If you're consistently hunting in the 20s, and you maybe want to layer under a Delta waiting jacket, I would go and take advantage of the Primaloft insulation that's in the duck oven. All right, everybody, let's take a little closer look at the Dakota jacket and the duck oven. So as we talked about before, the Dakota jacket does not have any thumb loops for layering, even though you can layer with it. You do have your thumb loops here with the duck oven. If we open up the Dakota jacket, here you see the Berber fleece. We have some woven fleece right here over the pockets, but it's a fleece jacket that's 100% windproof. If we open up the duck oven right here, this is where you start to see the major difference. You have your fleece lining down here around your torso to, to pack this jacket down into bibs and into waders. And then you see all this Primaloft insulation up here to keep you nice and warm. And then we go to my personal favorite feature of the duck oven, that's our waiter pockets right here talk about weight a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure on the weight of the dakota jacket or the hoodie but we're about 31 ounces on the duck oven jacket the dakota is a little bit lighter um, in my opinion but they're both very good jackets um, as you can see if you come down at this angle you can definitely see there's a lot uh, more height on the duck oven because of all the primaloft 329 299 both come in timber and in marsh. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the quick comparison of the Dakota jacket and hoodie versus the duck oven. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, uh, hit me up on Facebook. We're still doing our Dixie Falco Pacific Falco hat giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like the video, comment down below, let me know the state in which you are from, and we'll pick a winner each Friday. Um, we got more reviews to come. Let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. I'll try to do some more mashups. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you guys next time.